Uh, and when it comes to advice, this woman, Greg, you love these stories. Uh huh. She's 103 oh. years old. Oh. Her name is Teresa Moore. Oh, oh. And uh, her advice for living a good life, try to be happy. Try to think of good things. Also, she hits the gym three to four times a week nice. Whoa. at 103. Wow. Yeah. yeah. She lifts oh. weights. She uses the machine. She walks on the treadmill. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Nice, babe. <laughs> yeah, she's ripped. Babe. Yeah, she's, she's got. She's pumping iron. She's got the V. Yeah. Oh, CrossFit yeah. yeah, she does. She's got the pubic V. You know, it's right at the <laughs> like bottom it. of your abs, and it creates like a muscle arrow yeah, yeah. down to your junk. Yeah, it points mm, down. That's probably, what Teresa's rocking. Probably wears yeah. boy, boy shorts and yeah. a cutoff oh. top. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah, but she's still Hell, old yeah. school, so she's rocking full bush underneath those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Underneath those gym shorts, which is why you see the bulge in the front. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take Actually, advice. speaking of advice, I need advice. All right. So I'm going to ask the question, and then I'll explain why I'm asking the question. So think about the question, and then I'll explain the situation. Okay. The question is, how do you ask somebody who uh, owes you money that you would like them to pay you back? Because I find that to how much be money? a sizable amount. Oh, and no. And your relationship to them? Mm. That's important. Is it family, friend? Yeah. Right. Um, let's just say... Well, family or friend? Acquaintance. Borderline friend. Acquaintance. Okay. A borderline friend. Borderline. Why are you loaning money to people who are borderline? It's not a loan. That's why I'll, I will explain. Okay. But it, it's over $3,000, but not quite $4,000. Okay. okay. So the situation is um, I bought the current house I'm living in two years ago. I've become friendly with the people I bought the house from, which I've told you guys about. Mm. They're Oh, you just had them over. Yeah. Wonderful couple. It's kind of weird. But they're yeah. old, too. It's they're weird. super, super nice. Now, they lived there for a long time, so they bought the house when it was probably $9. So their property taxes were <laughs> crazy low. Okay. So when you buy a house at a much higher price than they bought it for, for $9, the property taxes clearly go up a lot. So when I bought the house, my property taxes went up, and I had a property tax bill sitting on the kitchen counter when I first moved in. And I thought, okay, obviously the property taxes are going up. And they said, oh, well, this is for you. This is your bill. That you, when you just bought it? When I had just moved in. For the prior yeah. year? And that's the thing. And I thought, okay, I know the property taxes go up and I don't think this is accurate, but there was so much competition to get, this is when the real estate market was red hot. Didn't really question it that much. Because you and wanted I, the place. Yeah. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just do whatever. I, I, I'm just going to deal with it. I'll, I'll do it. Fine, whatever. I'm not going to question it. Now that it's tax time, I'm going through a bunch of old paperwork, and I looked at it again, knowing that something was not quite right, and I realized it wasn't an adjustment. It was a bill from that year that it was really their bill from the previous six months that, that I hadn't even owned the house yet. Yeah. It was okay. their bill. And they left it for you. And it was, and then they basically said, yeah, this is yours now because you own the house. Okay, sure, I own the house, but I hadn't owned it the previous six mm -hmm. months. Right, the months mm. indicated on the bill. Yeah. Right. So technically, this was not even remotely my responsibility. And it was, again, over $3,000. So I did pay that bill. And then a couple months later, after living there, I got my property tax bill, which was mine. Mm -hmm. And it had gone up because the value had gone up which I paid. So I paid my property taxes and I paid their property taxes. Mm -hmm. But was it uh, agreed upon that- Yeah, is that in your paperwork? No, it was not. So you not. never had sure a conversation with them. I did, but well, no. They just left it and said, well, this is yours because it's your house now. But, it's but you never had the conversation once you yeah. realized like, oh, this is for- No, and that's the thing. I should have done it right uh, then and there. Yeah. This is now this a- Yeah. Very late. You probably could. Very late yeah. in the game. By the way, I think, you, uh, I think you're eating that money. That's yeah, that's my, yeah, my thought too. I, I feel so too. And, that's, and it's on you. But okay. how are you even it's on, on you the hook you for it? Because he paid it. Right, Cause it's right. Over exactly. and done with. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. you probably could have gone to your realtor, and they would have gone. Say, hey, yeah. Yeah, they could have made them. They could have forced yeah. it at the time. At the time. But now, it's way so, too yeah. late. So now yeah. that I'm going through this paperwork, how long have you lived in this house? Over two years. Two years. Yeah. Oh yeah. So just let it go. It's a loss. I mean, the thing is, I don't really care. But in general, I was just wondering. I think you care if you're. No, I don't. It's two years old. I just brought it up because I found the paperwork, and I wanted to ask you guys if you are ever in a situation where somebody owes you money, how do you ask? Well, it, well, because I've the, been in that situation before where I have, and this one was with family, 
And yeah. I knew when family asks for money, it's never a loan. It's a gift. Right. And I did loan a super sizable amount of money to a relative. And I thought, I'm never going to see this again. And sure enough, I didn't. It's the bank of Greg. Yeah. And, uh, Greg, can I get like and, <laughs> and I a couple thought, grand? <laughs> okay, this is going to be a gift. And this was years ago. And I knew I'd never okay. see it again. And I thought, if I ask for this, it's going to ruin the relationship. Right. So I never asked for it again, knowing I'll never see that money again. So in general, I just want to know, how does an adult ask another adult for money that is owed to them? Okay, so a couple things. In that situation, I think that's on you. You should have uh, figured that out earlier. Sure. Yeah. As you're paying it, because like, you're just moving in. Like, How would right. this be mine? Agreed. Uh, and then work it out with the with your realtor or whatever. Agreed. Okay? Um, and a normal situation, if you've loaned somebody money, there's typically they'll say, oh, yeah, I'll pay you back. But whenever I've loaned anybody money, I go into it with the expectation I'm probably never going to see this money again. Right. You know, um, not that emergencies don't happen, but typically the people who are asking to borrow money aren't the best with money. Right. right. They need you to know? borrow it and, for a reason. Yeah. And mm-hmm. not that they don't have the best intentions. Like maybe they are really actually in their mind that moment planning to pay you back, but then more time goes by and whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, can you go back and ask for it? Sure. Mm-hmm. You had that agreement, mm-hmm. but I would just be upfront about it. But also at the same time, you got to kind of think, Hmm. Chances of me seeing this money are not good. So go in with yeah. measured expectations. That's what I do. Yeah, I just you know help them out and then never think about it ever again. And, and then the other, if it pops up yeah. again, cool. Yeah, and, and then not, the other part whatever. About, like if you're worried about ruining the relationship, well, that's on that's on them. They right. borrowed money. They haven't paid you back. All you did was ask for it. Hey, yeah. uh, you ever gonna give me uh that money back? Right. And if they're like mad about it, that's on them. Yeah. Sure. You did them mm-hmm. a favor. Yeah. They know they're supposed to pay you back. Right. And they haven't done it. And I'm, yeah, I'm just curious because I'm sure other people are in the same situation. So I'm kind of just asking in general, how would you ask somebody? Yeah, what their demeanor? Would you if you said it just like this? You're like, ah, oh, pardon me, but yeah. I noticed something. Would they be <laughs> up? To the, would they be cool with it, or do you think they're I mean, kind of? They, they came over for dinner. Yeah, I bet they'd be cool shocked. Them. I bet oh. they'd be shocked. Uh, yeah. I'm oh, in totally this particular, shocked. they yeah, they might not even remember the situation. Yeah. Um. And but the, no, I know I waited too long. I was just wondering. And I think at the time I may have asked the realtor, and they said they would look into it, and then it was just forgotten. Of course, and not. I knew I waited not too his long. Money, yeah. yeah, right, they, dude. Yeah, I like. Uh, I'm a generous person. I'll sooner pay for something that you need, like if it's a last minute, like an emergency car repair. With yeah. I like, I would much sooner do that than get into the whole thing about loaning money. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, you know, because it is yeah. awkward. Yeah, and if you, you know, don't pay me back and, by this date, you owe me this much. <laughs> yeah, right. and, no, and, yeah, exactly. And I've Never. made it. Uh, I've made it clear to family. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I because I I've had people they'll come to me and they'll say, uh, hey, uh, this is this and this. Can I you know can I borrow some money? And I oh, say, yeah. look, here's the deal. I will give you one. Uh-huh. So I and that it's a, this could be mother, father, sister, whoever. I give you one, one opportunity to ask. To borrow money, and then that's it. This yeah. is not going to be like an ongoing thing, like where you you borrow money, and even if you pay back, like we're not doing this on a regular basis, because yeah. mm-hmm. that's that's usually how that kind of stuff starts. Mm-hmm. You get one. Is this really what? Is this really where you want to call in your favor here? Right. I have, and I tell you what, I won't even ask for the money back. But you get one, uh-huh. and then that's it. For me, it was the advent of Venmo. It uh. was when Venmo started. I will have relatives. That will just mention something. Oh, my brakes on my car yeah. are shot. And yep. then I'll just I'll go on Venmo. With, they don't even ask. And I'll just Venmo them money. Mm-hmm. Hey, get those brakes taken care of, you know? And then that's it. And then they don't they don't even offer anything. I don't expect yeah. them to. I don't want them to. Yeah. But I'm sure other people are in that same situation. It's it's such an awkward thing. Yeah. 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 It sucks. It sucks. It sucks because it is weird. I mean, it is awkward with, you know, family especially. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it's also, I find it disappointing because yeah. just because they think that you have it, right? you know, they're coming to you. And a lot of times it's their own stupid, you know, mistake or right. their own stupid. Oh, it always is. Miscalculation, yeah. right. poor planning. Right. Without naming names, I have very close relatives who have grown ass adult friends going to them asking for sizable amounts of money. Mm-hmm. And they both say, we'll never see this again. And they yeah. give in every yeah. time. Oh, so <laughs> like, we'll never see this again. Yeah, this di- this didn't happen to me, but this happened to one of my very close friends where they loaned a family member money and they got this big sob story and blah, 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 blah. And 
This is somebody they were really close to. This wasn't just some kind of like, you know, peripheral kind of like uh, family Cousin member. or something. This was a very <laughs> yeah. close family member. Gave him this sob story. This guy felt for them like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll help you out. Now, he's the kind of guy who doesn't have a lot of money to be uh, loaning out. He's got his own family, his own kids. Things are he, he budgets. He lives within his means and the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Gives this person this money. Nothing with the as far as paying any kind of money back or even a thank you. Like once they got the money, it's like Bye. they were wow. kind of in the yeah. wind. Yeah. And then pretty soon after that, within a couple months after the 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 loan, this person's talking about, well, hey, how's it going? And uh, they they said to him, oh well, good. Yeah, we're going uh, we're going down to Florida for like a yep. week. They're going on vacation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You what? owe me money, <laughs> yeah. and you're and you got this sob story about like whatever. The, I don't even know what the situation was, but they got this sob story about mm-hmm. how they need. Oh, I you know, God, man, it really kills me to ask you, and blah blah mm-hmm. blah blah blah. And then within a couple months, they're going on vacation. They haven't Jeez. given you a dime. I know somebody exactly like uh, that. Huh? Son needs to go to turns. rehab. He's on the brink of death. Yeah. We don't know what yeah. we're gonna do. And then next thing you know, sailing cruise yeah. around the world, yep. Tahiti. <laughs> yeah. What? One. But you know what? You get one. You get it's one. gonna have to be within reason. Yeah. Sure. You know, really yeah. need help paying off our house. Yeah. Yep. What's nah, the budget? Nah, okay. What's the one? budget? <laughs> I know. Well, it depends on if, you, if it's like a very close family member, like immediate family. You know, it's going to be more than somebody who's, you know, further outside right. the circle. Yeah. yeah. Second cousin. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a uh, break. You feel better? Like you have like a yeah, no, clarity I, I, on that? I kind okay. of figured it was. Before I wrap it up? Yeah. No, definitely. Definitely.